in this video I'm going to go over contracts and contracts is services and products that you're going to be giving to a client so um, to manage contracts you go to service contracts and then you would create your new contract you can select a template and right now I'm just going to choose the default service template select it and here's all the information so you're going to have your contract name you're going to have your customer which is going to be an account you're going to have the start date of the contract let's say today you're going to have the end date of the contract let's say um, you know, in a week from now and then uh, you're going to have other information down here so the customer you're going to be billing to uh, your billing information over here you're going to have your pricing information and then your details down here and once you've got all this entered you can save it and what you can then do is you can give it contract lines by going to contract lines add new contract line and this is where you can enter in the title you can enter the product that this is going to have, have the quantity the start date the the allotment deals the pricing and everything so that this is just more information about the contract and then you can also add activities to the contract so like a, a service activity or something you could add to it and once you've got it all the way you like you can uh, save it and close it and then it's going to be there in all contracts and if you've got service activities associated with it those are going to be on the calendar and you'll have your contract lines giving all the information about the products and stuff so this is how you would create a contract and then the one other thing is that once you've created it um, if you just go to the, the general section what you can do is invoice it and then what that will do is to make it it will make it active so you click on invoice contract and okay so I didn't enter any contract lines here but if I had entered contract lines I would go to invoice contract and then it would be invoice which means it's an active contract so that's how you make a contract you would go to new you enter your information and then you would invoice it to activate it and that's a, that's a bit about how you would use contracts.